Oh my God, can you hear them? The squirming Britain's Got Talent team desperately trying to persuade us that the world's favourite human being, Susan Boyle, might not win. Forget it, Simon. It's a done deal. Week two of the nation's best talent show and they're insisting that a nice guy with a saxophone is a superstar. He's not. Now Cowell and the gang are deeply convinced that 12-year-old singing Welsh wonder kid Shaheen Jaffagoli will give Super Sue a run for her money, which he won't. Shaheen is a decent kind of child warbler, but he's nothing special. And like all the gifted children before him, Connie Talbot, Farrell Smith, Andrew Johnston and the rest, he's unlikely to come to much. But for the Dark Lord, it's all about the product, and no one can be bigger than the Britain's Got Talent Spectacular. The public must be forced to believe that Miss Boyle is not already the winner, even though she is. Gosh, what a surprise. Here's Piers Morgan promising us that a sensational schoolgirl we have yet to see will put Super Sue in the shade. I bet she won't. Who the hell else is going to get more than 100 million hits on YouTube? Not sax sensation Julian Smith, not overrated stage school kid Shaheen, and not Piers's as yet unnamed mysterious schoolgirl. In other words, absolutely no one. The thing is, Cowell and his merry men, and Amanda Holden, seriously failed to spot Susan Boyle's astonishing appeal. If they had have done, they wouldn't have shoved her into the first show in the worst case of premature ejaculation in showbiz history. But she was a bit ugly, you see. And with Simple Taste Simon, that simply does not compute. In his pre-packed, image-obsessed world, pop stars have to be beautiful. He wants to make Susan look better. The rest of us don't. This is brave new territory for poptastic Simon and he's doing his best to adapt. But here's where he's making a massive mistake. No one except him gives a rat's backside about the credibility of the Britain's Got Talent contest. Not a single person on the face of the earth wants anyone but Susan Boyle to win this series, with the possible exception of one Mr S. Cowell. Give it up, Simon. Within minutes of the start of episode one, you hit pure TV gold. Accept it, be grateful for it, and go with the flow. And stop foisting obvious also-rans onto us as if they're the new Frank Sinatra. In any case, think about it. At least 90% of every Britain's Got Talent show is devoted to delusional idiots who haven't got any talent at all. We all gasp at the brilliance of Susan and applaud the charm of Julian and Shaheen. But mostly, we just fall about laughing at the ridiculous losers. It doesn't help when Piers and Amanda keep voting total dorks like moon-dancing Star Wars wacko Darth Vader through to the next round for no apparent reason. Or that disgusting drag queen, Peter Coughlin, who sticks his finger into his sweat-filled belly button before putting it into his lipstick-smeared mouth. Blech, finger looking bad. Piers and Amanda, Simon was right. This guy's vile act was the lowest form of non-entertainment. And you giving him the thumbs up undermines Britain's Got Talent a lot more than the foregone conclusion of the great Ms Boyle's inevitable victory. But get used to it, there are six more weeks to go. And we can expect an avalanche of over-the-top praise for all sorts of wannabes, especially the cute kids, who Simon and his obedient sidekicks will assure us are more than a match for Susan. Don't listen to a word of it. Oh well, that's it for now, but I'll be back with more updates on Britain's most popular TV show. And don't forget to read my unbeatable column in the Sunday Mirror this week and every week. I, as always, have been Kevin O'Sullivan.